Water is the most abundant natural resource on the planet. However, it's also one of the most scarce. While paradoxical, and despite the world's seeming wealth of water spanning the globe, access to clean, drinkable water is dwindling as the world undergoes climate change and increasing water pollution makes many sources unusable. Put simply, Earth has an abundance of water, likely never to run out, even from extreme forecasts. So why even ask the question? The challenges the world faces in running out of water are complex, and as we dig into them further, we'll find rife with dynamic global adversities unsolvable by just one entity. So let's understand what's really being asked with this existential question and underscore what humanity can do to reach a place of sustainability. According to the World Health Organization, in 2021, over 2 billion people, roughly a quarter of the world's population, lives in water-stressed countries. Underscoring the issue further, 1.7 billion people globally currently consume water that is untreated and contains dangerous contaminants like feces. This problem of access to water is presented in polarizing perspectives, making the challenge even harder. For much of the world, access to safely managed water has been growing over the years, increasing from 62% in 2000 to 74% in 2020, an encouraging trend. However, on the other pole is a rapidly growing population of people without access to safely managed water with the sources they do have have being rocked by pollution and changing climates. Water overuse is also one of the leading issues for access to clean water. Stated by NASA, there are currently 19 global, heavily populated hotspots from California to China where water access is markedly dwindling in recent years. As water is overused and underground reservoirs are depleted, the soil actually compresses from the weight of the world above it, decreasing the Earth's natural ability to replenish these sources, making the future problem even harder to overcome. It's with this data that we can understand the problem of running out of water a little better. The world itself has an abundance of H2O, the molecule, likely never to run out, but humanity's access to drinkable versions of it faces mounting but still overcomable hurdles. With 7.5 billion people on the planet projected to reach 10 billion by 2050, a growing number of people will be born into places without access to this vital resource. So what can we do? Based on estimates, it would cost only $114 billion per year to provide access to clean water globally to everyone that needed it, according to UNESCO. With a cost well under 1% of global annual GDP, why haven't we solved it? With water, there's no central governance. Access to water is managed at local levels, often without central guidance, meaning overuse, pollution, and mismanagement are common problems faced by communities globally. This lack of central control is part of what makes solving the challenge of water access so hard. The world knows collectively how to ensure access to clean water resources, We've been doing it for centuries, but without central control or administration, getting this information out and the funds to implement it is easier said than done. Notably, in places like Africa, where communities struggle with access to clean water, there are often sufficient supplies of groundwater in underground reservoirs to sustain the growing population. There just simply hasn't been enough investment in components of the water puzzle, like delivery and management, to gain access to these vital resources. As Earth.org outlines, most of Africa is not faced with physical water scarcity, but rather economic water scarcity. With the problems outlined and the solutions understood and cost quantified, what can we do to bring about better water access as fast as possible? Managing freshwater resources is a vital step. 
leak detection and mitigation is huge for places with existing clean water networks. In the United Kingdom, for example, the Environment Agency noted that 3 billion liters per day are wasted through leaks, something drastically impacting water availability in the region. This wasted water then leads to overuse for networks, one of the core challenges we discussed earlier. For this problem too, the world knows how to solve it. We have advanced hydraulic modeling tools and leak detection capabilities that engineers can use to find these leaks and fix them. But the challenge draws back to funding and regulatory consistency. Managing irrigation water is also a significant component of ensuring sustainability in regions as well. Some methods of irrigation, especially in arid, hot countries, are highly inefficient. Roughly 25% of irrigated water is often lost to heat and wind. When the issue of climate change arises too, it's not just an issue of drought. In fact, changing climates also bring more extreme and frequent floods, which can devastate agriculture and cities. While the issue of flooding might seem like a good thing in ensuring access to water, floods often do paradoxical things to water supplies. In regions with combined sewer networks, flooding events can cause overflows of sewage into clean water sources. Additionally, floods often sweep up large amounts of hazardous chemicals and debris into clean water sources that, again too, increase pollution and make water sources less clean to drink. The issue of flooding is one that affects not just developed nations with existing water networks, but also growing regions with more basic freshwater sources. Much of the water resource management challenges we've discussed are applicable to already developed regions. What about other regions with basic to no access to clean water? The challenge here is more monetary. In addition to providing engineering and management resources, funding needs to be provided to regions where the barrier is economic to drill wells and establish access to existing groundwater. This is why organizations like Water.org, WaterAid.org, and The Water Project, among many others, exist to direct funding to solving these challenges. There's also an educational component here as well, part of the reason I'm making this video. As more people understand sustainable water resource management, the societal barriers that need to be overcome to solve these challenges drop too. So will the world run out of water? Put simply, no, we have plenty on the globe, but ensuring that the world's population has access to it will require some work. The world can secure access to clean water through effective and sustainable water resource management, aided by the growing availability of advanced hydraulic modeling tools and through societal pressures that aid in water resource funding globally. In doing so, it's estimated that solving the challenge of access to fresh water could save 1.4 million people annually. Water is the world's most vital resource. The world knows how to access it and deliver it to the people that need it. Now is the time to establish that access to clean water for generations to come.